I made it, I made it, I made it. Okay, happy Tuesday, friends. Happy Tuesday. We've got Emmy here. We've got Kite. We've got Shane, all of our favorite pals. Uh, doing a quick shout out for our lovely mod, Emmy. Emmy just did her first stream ever uh, last night, doing a little bit of spoopy poppy playtime. Uh, so if you want to catch some more of Emmy shenanigans, uh, definitely give her a follow. Um, Shane is also a streamer. Was watching uh, him mess around making some sounds um, from the Harry Potter musical, which I have not seen in ages. And I got quite a laugh thinking about pig farts <laughs> and Draco Malfoy. It was lovely lovely to uh reminisce about that uh emmy forgot to vod so there's only a small clip that's okay that's okay it's all good uh just throwing this out there if anybody is interested in uh letting us know about some pronouns no pressure uh but there is this really cool chrome extension that you can add and so all across uh, Twitch when you go in places as long as you're on the browser um, you'll be able to see everybody's pronouns it is a really handy trick I wish uh, Twitch would just build it in uh, natively but you know progress is slow <laughs> uh, today is national coming out day here in the United States if y'all don't know uh, I am really excited to kind of reflect on how all my coming out days have been. Uh, you enabled pronouns on there, but nothing changes in streams. Um, so you won't see it uh, in like OBS, but if you're open it up in um, Chrome or something like that, you will see extensions. So I see he, him on mine for you. Uh, Nova, Nina. Hi, Nina. You're up so late. Welcome in. Nina is the sweetest VTuber ever. Uh, definitely give them a follow if you're not following our lovely Nina. They are so fabulous and wonderful. She's drawing. Okay, well, you do your drawing, Nina. Um, I definitely, like, what was it? Last night or the night before, when I saw the full moon, I had to post it in your Discord. She runs a fabulous community, um, and it is just delightful to be a moonbeam. Now I get to sleep. Okay. Well, Nina, thank you for joining. Get some rest. We will catch you soon. Uh, it's fabulous to see you pop in as always. Um, Nina also does some cool uh, community nights and anime view nights. So if you're ever interested, check out Nina. Um, yeah. So I think this is our... I don't know, seventh stream of Final Fantasy 2? Maybe six? I can't remember exactly. Um, but we have done really well. I think we're getting through towards the end. We've got two dungeons left to go. Um, that's really exciting. Uh, and then we can move on once we finish this game into Final Fantasy 3 to continue our every Final Fantasy game series. Um, I did add a couple new commands on the Twitch stream, if you're interested in using them. We've got, um, of course, you know, our corn command. That hasn't changed, but I added... What did I add? I think I added biscuit. 
Yeah. <laughs> I added this skit. Uh, it's corn. It's a big lump of knobs, for sure. Uh, yes, there is the mental health command, so you are welcome to check that out. Uh, if you're ever interested in finding some psychotherapy for yourself, there are two resources right there. It is not Monster Hunter, unless the monsters are in your mind, Kite. Then, of course, you know, we can do that. <laughs> um, I feel like this song is too quiet. We need a different one. Uh, also see the Greek alphabet in that command. Ooh, tell us more, Nina. Yes, we do have cozy. Oh, no. Kite, you're not cozy enough. You better get a little blankie and a snack so that you can feel just a little bit more cozy. I see Nina, I just noticed, is 93% corn today. Oh my gosh. Uh, Inquisitor, welcome on in. What's going on, Sav? You are full of cozy, Nina. This is very true. This is very true. Oh, Shane is harmonizing with 86% corn today. Very nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, so feel free to uh, snuggle up. Make sure you've got a little beverage. Yes, Saf is here. Oh no, Kite! <laughs> well, it is what it is, as they say. Uh, Nina says she, they, she is full of corn. The song has been in her head all day. So appropriate. Yeah, yeah, that song is always in my head. As well as the biscuit song, if you, you know what I'm talking about. I think it's a very special corner of uh, TikTok that I find myself on to be bombarded with uh, biscuit talk videos all day. Nina, you don't know the biscuit song? Oh no, Nina. <laughs> oh, I will have to send you the biscuit song. It is a piece of art. It is absolutely wonderful. Um, if y'all aren't in my Discord, you are welcome to join it as well. I'll just leave a link right there for you. Um, it's not too big so far as we're building our little community, our little stream. We're just kind of going, uh, but anyone is welcome to join. This is a shout out to my lovely mod, Emmy. It is a family friendly server <laughs> so be on your best behavior or else i will beat you up not really i won't beat you up but yeah yeah it's family friendly i know some of our other communications aren't always but i strive in my community to be a safe space um and so that's that's kind of what i'm going for here I feel like I have no sound. Are you guys hearing my sound? Let me click this button. Do you have sound, computer? There it goes. Okay, it just got quiet. I don't know why. It just did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Saf, that uh, <laughs> Kite doesn't like you anymore. <laughs> Must have been something you said. I don't know. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. All right. So I think we're going to get ready to switch over to a lovely game, Final Fantasy 2. Um, we're doing pretty good in our playthrough. Did you use the triangle on her? Oh, no. What is the triangle, Emmy? I don't know what the triangle is. Doesn't want to run 90s. <laughs> Oh no! Good night, Nina. We stan our Nina. Blessings to you. Have the sweetest of dreams and thank you for dropping in. Appreciate you. Alright, so we left off. I believe we picked up a new character. The long lost orphan brother named Leon. Not to be confused with Leon from Kingdom Hearts. Yep. Yep, we did. Leon, look at his beautiful five 
MP points that Leon has. Oh my goodness. We got to get that man some magic. I don't think he has any. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm going to spend a little time maybe leveling up Leon before we get into the final two dungeons. I think he deserves that after all the time we've spent trying to find the poor guy. Oh, Kite, you are special. You are the most special. Midnight, welcome in. Midnight is awesome. You did make it on time and everything. Welcome, come on in. We're just getting our gameplay started here. But it is so fabulous to see you. I appreciate you stopping by. If you don't uh, already, definitely recommend getting a little drinky poo and maybe a snack and a nice snuggly blanket. Kite really needs three because Kite needs to be more cozy. For sure. Uh, enjoy your luck, Shane. Enjoy your luck. Uh, yes. Uh, happy anniversary, Mid. That is right. That is so fantastic. All right. So what does Leon need for spells? Maybe a little blink. Oh, he definitely needs like the basics. So let's make sure he gets a cure. Oops. Where can I get magic? Is there magic in this town? I'll think there is. I don't know if it's just basic magic, but I'm sure of the magic. The mini, the fog, and slow spells. I don't want any of those. <laughs> oh no. Oh, look at the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Midnight, for the follow. One more follower closer to our goal of 50. Holy gosh. I'm doing really well. I hope you're enjoying them painting. What kind of paints do you like to paint with, Midnight? Are they oil? Are they pastel? Let us know. I think I can't go here because this town is destroyed, but I can probably go down to the little magic town. They have a bunch of spells here. Do, do, do. You've succeeded in breaking the seal. Okay. Yes. Magic, magic, magic. We need some magic. It's a cute airship. Yes. It was uh, given to me by Sid as he was breathing his last dying breath, but he said I could only borrow it. <laughs> yes, we need fire, thunder, and blizzard. Gotta get you some magic, buddy. Fire. Said I had a blizzard tone. Where's my blizzard tone? Sort by item. There's my blazer. And thunder. Awesome. That's what I thought, Coward. <laughs> I tell you, Kite, but I think my usual sense of humor is a little too mean spirited for Augustine's atmosphere. Oh no. Oh no. You guys are going to get me in trouble. <laughs> Nobody has flair, do they? Leon could use a flare spell. Why not? He hasn't done anything the rest of this whole game. Gave him cure. Um, haste. Increases the number of attacks when used in battle. Haste would be good. Do, do, do. Blind. Osmos. I don't have any other reason for it. Scourge. Oh no, Emmy, don't put Saf in time out. That's so mean. <laughs> Did not use that tome at all. Okay. Does he have equipment? That I gave him? I don't think he does. The Sunblade is definitely superior. Diamond gloves? Mm, okay, okay. definitely worth the evasion for the black guard probably and a helm 
I suppose that's fine. Uh, Emmy says, I won't unless needed. I'm not going to abuse my powers. Sometimes Sap is a bad boy. Oh dear. You go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Barrier, wall, swamp, holy. No, don't care. None of those are helpful. Uh, the life spell revives a knocked out ally. That's a, probably a good one. Warp and teleport. Guess we'll take teleport. We'll give him a warp. Doesn't hurt to have that. Teleport. Life. What was the one I was going to give him? Warp. Okay. What can you do for me? Fear. Basuna and Esuna. We want both of those. Leon's getting just all the dregs of uh, magic at this point. Oh, a battle. Guess we can use our spells here and or level up a little bit. Might as well. So I think I want to level Basuna with you. Basuna with you. And I want you to work on Ultima. And I want you to work on... Let's say Flare. Wow, Ultima Magic actually did 200 damage. It's pretty good. For a level one spell. Flared out so much. Three forty-four. Fire sixteen. I think that's the max level for spells in this game is sixteen. Not even close to sixteen. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Alright, we'll just let him attack. It's fine. Well, because he's not going to attack now. <laughs> he's been paralyzed, poor guy. The Essena level up. Okay. What did Guy get? Oh, not Guy. Uh, Leon. 37 MP. Got some magic and stamina. A little bit of HP. Beautiful. Oh, he's out of MP. Okay. Do, do, do. Care up to level 9. That's pretty good. Hello, I'd like to rest. Thank you. Okay. I don't see my thing. Where is my thing? That's not what I want. Okay. Alrighty. So I think there's another couple towns on the north end of the map that might also have some magic I could get. 
the winter town is still around where our friend Joseph died. Is there any cool magic in here? Life, sap, warp, teleport. Okay. All those were in Missidia, so we're good there. And then I think the only other town that's still around is, um, not that one. That one's destroyed. This one? Yeah. Mm, magic, magic, magic. Yeah, well, fear, bassoon, essence, and silence. Okay, I have all of those. So it looks like it uh, has all of the magics I can acquire for our friend Leon. Ooh. So let's burn these down. Maybe I burn too fast. I did burn too fast. Okay. <laughs> we got a Mithril Helm and an Oratome. Bighorn, these guys are so cute. Alright, so you work on your... I got Essena up. Um, what else do I want to level up for you, girl? Absorbs MP. Oh, Flare. So, cancel his attack. I would like to get you to level up. Uh, how about death? I want you to work on your... What was I going to do? Flare? And you continue to work on leveling up Ultima. And you, my dear, will work on players. Oh my gosh, my death spell actually worked. That's cool. I did not expect that to actually do anything. I was shocked. Absolutely shocked. <laughs> Hello, baby flares. Yay, your evasion is up finally. Poor Bighorn, he's so cute. Alright, Ultima and Flare leveled up. Terrific. Leon got 70 MP. Player 251. 258. Not bad. Hmm. Kinda on par with each other at this point. These guys used to be really spoopy. Things have changed. I still haven't quite understood the leveling and experience mechanics in this game. <laughs> I just kind of hit things and then they die. It seems to be the trick. They drop gold armor and mithril axe. It's pretty sweet. 
just wonder if there are higher level enemies than what I am being presented with at the moment. Death is up to two. Yeah, boom. Got a player and another Ultima. Let's go, let's go. Is it dead yet? They're not really hitting me though. That's what's interesting. I'm gonna keep going until we drain Leon of all of his MP. Oh great, Maria's flare went up. Guy got some more spirit. Uh, MP went up to 139. Okay. So we're gonna keep working on your barrier, your flare, I mean. Uh, Ferion, death. Do I really want death? Or do I want wall? Wall's probably more effective. I don't think I gave him a wall, did I? So let's actually work on getting Furion's wall up rather than death. Because death I don't see a lot of utility to. Oh, we're gonna keep it the same. Those bombs would one shot kill me in the earlier parts of the game. <laughs> as well as these hell geekuses, they were very spoopy. Maybe I'm more ready for the final battle than I thought. Or battles, I should say. You're OP now, kind of. I just, I don't understand if there's an easier way to level up magic. Because. You have a rotating fourth party member throughout the game that you play, and they start pretty much at the basic bottom. So as you saw, he had no spells, and I put some spells on him, but they don't really do anything. And then my main characters have a couple spells that they use, but for the most part, they don't do a whole lot. So I wonder... Where, where might be some more powerful, powerful enemies? The desert, perhaps? I don't think I really fought anything in the desert this playthrough. Oh, Leon's out of MP. My bad. Just don't use them easy. For some enemies, that's actually a perfectly fine strat, but then other ones... Not so much. Because I'd love to get that Ultima leveled up to doing something that's usable. Oh no, Leo's gonna die. He's hitting pretty good though. Alright, Leon's dead. Bye, Leon! R.I.P. Leon. I guess that's what he gets for being so late to the party. <laughs> also, he was a bit of a turn cloak for a little while. He turned on us.
Oh, they left him dead in the sand. They're not really liking him, are they? Ah, uh, Maria. I guess no one can be as fabulous as Maria. I love her. Oh, so much. You know, I think we're gonna rest up and we're gonna try and see where we get with this final battle. I should buy some ethers and such, but oops, I walked out. My bad. Welcome back in. Quite unlucky. Leon's character sprite in this uh, version, I don't know if he looks the same in other ones, he looks kind of like General Leo in Final Fantasy VI. I wonder if there's a connection there. So, I don't think I want any of those. Uh, we'll buy some crosses, why not? Ethers. Look at all that money I've got to spend. <laughs> I guess that's what it's for. Get some elixirs at the end game. What are these guys doing? Just hanging out there? Alright, so where was this dungeon at? Is it over here? Remember, it was some big swirling lake looking thing. Is it up here? No. On the end of this peninsula, perhaps? There it is. We're teleporting in. Okay. We trying to get to Pandemonium. Jade Passage. All right, I am totally gonna peek at a guide here. Don't mind me. <laughs> Oh, Excalibur. Second most powerful sword. Ooh, just a second. I want to get an Excalibur. It's not cheating. Kai, you wouldn't understand being a Zoomer, but this is how vi video games have been played. You know, back in the day, we literally had hotlines that you would call and they would help you through a game. <laughs> Show you the guidebook? Yeah, it is uh, this link right here. There you go. <laughs> no problemo, Kite. You are so welcome to the guide. <laughs> it's not a guidebook. I do have the guidebook uh, original one for Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> I think I've got one for 12 as well. Ricard's gone. He was a noble dragoon. I'm sure he was pleased that he could die in the name of honor. Dragoon? Ink will leave Dees behind and find a new place to live. There are too many painful memories within these walls. Whoop. 
Oh, I meant to thank you for saving the Wyvern Egg and for giving me the chance to see Ricard one last time. That's why I want you to have this. It's the most treasured possession of the Dragoons of Deist, Excalibur. With Ricard gone, you should be the ones to wield the sword. Alright, we got it, we got it. Sword of Myth. We'll give it to Leon. Effective against many types, because he's a kind of a dragoon at this point. Ooh, do I want to give you the Sunblade? Effective against Undead? Yeah, we'll give you that. <laughs> you better see me flipping through it when I play six. Okay, all right. That. <laughs> you could buy the guidebooks when you bought the game and they were like 20 to 30 bucks. Yeah, I used to collect them. I have a few random ones left. Sometimes I'll go down to um, our local, uh, I guess it's a hobby shop. They sell records, retro video games. It's called Sound Go Round. They sell comics. Um, and they have a bunch of old stuff. So sometimes I'll find a guidebook there and I'll buy it. Uh, got like an hour into six in case I was getting tired of getting lost in random encounter games I don't like. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sankaran is about five minutes from your house, Emmy. It is a cool place. I remember when um, Final Fantasy XII first came out, they were so cruel. Um, so in order to unlock, I believe it was the final uh, ultimate weapon or something like that, there were specific treasure chests peppered throughout the entire video game. And if you opened one of them, the final items would not be there. And so you had to buy the strategy guide just to learn which chests not to open. It was a really strange marketing gimmick and it worked because the internet was not as populous. Although I remember gamefacts.com long time ago long 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 time ago i remember playing that forever ago okay so we got our excalibur do 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 so there are two chests so there's a diamond maze and a hellfire okay so we want the items there's one way down here Ooh, hecked eyes. I don't like that. Uh, attack. We'll keep working on your flare. Why not? We'll keep working on your ultima. Ah, uh, the drain. It's so cool. Ooh, gaze. That turns you to store. Oh! They are not messing around. They just killed him in one hit. <laughs> Guess I'm not gonna be messing around with magic down here. Lordy. All right, we're gonna use Asuna. Life. Come back, everybody. The spell 16. That was a beautiful spell. Alright, I'm not messing around. You guys gotta go. Well, Aria's Flare leveled up. Got something out of it. Ooh, look at her stat boosts. Sweet. Alright. Uh, Furion. Let's get your cure going for Leon. One little guy. He go done. Uh, 
Oh, Hellfire. That wasn't actually anything cool. Weep. A great Marlborough. So great I defeated it. A white dragon. Ooh, I love that drain sword when it works. It's beautiful. Or blood sword, I think it's called, but has the drain effect. The diamond mace. Makes her attack go up even higher. Should I give her a different shield? Or a weapon? Because her evasion is like 99%. I don't think she really needs the evasion increase. Let's see, we could give her the Thunder Spear or the Poison Axe. Um, we'll go with Thunder Spear. Wait, does she have... What do you have? Um, bows, axes, okay. That's decided then. We'll give you the poison axe. Oh my gosh! Lagaya, welcome on in! Lagaya is my favorite Final Fantasy XIV uh, DJ. Give you the command one too, why not? It seems to be a new fancy schmancy thing. How's it going? We are knee deep in the first of the final two uh, boss or er, dungeons dungeons these are dungeons yeah if y'all aren't following the guy you should be um but we're doing good we're doing good just kind of hanging out having a little cozy uh final fantasy game stream today i'm hoping we're gonna finally finish final fantasy 2 fingers crossed no promises, but fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. All right. So back to, uh, as Kite said, cheating. Which door do I want? <laughs> so the exit to the floor is found in the lower right corner. So we ignore all the other doors. Okay. This is me ignoring all the other doors. Delicious. Drain, drain, drain. How's your Tuesday been, Lagaya? Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I don't like these guys. Not only is the model kind of creepy, but they have like status effects up the wazoo. I mean, look, they just took out two of my party members. That's wild. Really wild. They are not playing. Should have ran. Alright, you use your golden needle. You cast... Life? Life, life. Where's life? Life? They almost have like a 100% status effect hit rate in this game. It's kind of scaly. Attack. Give you a cure and attack. Yeah, that's okay. You can beat up guy. Our little himbo white mage can take it. He tough. These guys are wiping the floor with me. So 
Too bad she can't hit herself out of confusion. He doesn't really have that many hit points to begin with, does he? Cool. Alright, Perion, you're not really doing much of anything, buddy. What can you do? All these items. I haven't used any of them. Darkness. He's Toad. <laughs> she beat you up, buddy. We having a domestic here. And she took herself out. Sag. Well, guy's life leveled up. Ferion got some stats. Leon got some stats. And poor Maria got left on the floor. I think I gave him the life spell, didn't I? Oh, apparently he won't. Oh, he's got no MP. How did he lose all his MP? Interesting. Alright, if I get another one of those, I'm running. Chimera Sphinx. Varian lost all his MP too. They must have drained it all. Those little jerks. Okay, floor two. All right, so I'm going to take a little brief break. So just a friendly reminder while I'm gone to uh, take some time to stretch. Uh, feel free to refill your beverage or uh, grab a cheeky little snack. And if uh, you take any vitamins or medications, this is your friendly reminder to uh, take that stuff. I'll be right back.
I is back. Ooh, coziness levels are rising as we settle in. Fantastic. How about for me? You know, after those mobs were draining me of my HP and MP, I think y'all are draining me of my cozy. <laughs> but it's okay. Y'all can have it. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> He's cool. <laughs> Alright, back to my cheating guide. So there's a very high likelihood you're going to be attacked by white dragons. Be prepared. Ignore all doors except for the exit on the upper right corner. There are three chests. Hellfire. An Arctic Winds. Um, I don't really care about any of those items. So, the door we want, and all our doors, except for the exit in the upper right hand corner. So that's that door that we want. <laughs> oh, I gotta get some MP. This is just sad. <laughs> Abyss worms. Okay. Not so spooky. Oh, they are for Leon. Poor Leon. Should I use an elixir? We're using ether. I only get 20. I'm using it. I'm using them. I'm using elixirs in a game. I never use elixirs. Ever. <laughs> but I did it. Salamanders. Oh, those look like um, the little lizard guys in one of those fates that you do in Amarang in Final Fantasy XIV. Not as red as the ones in the game. Very similar model. They look just like them. It's kind of cool. Beating you up. Take that. Slash. Bam. Bye. Ooh, cute little waterfall. That's nice. Look at all the doors, though. So, floor number three is fairly linear, forces you to walk beneath the waterfalls, which sap a little of your health. As is the usual case, ignore all the doors except for the last door you reach in the lower right hand corner. There's a treasure chest along the way. It contains the rune axe, power guarded by the King Behemoth. It's a more powerful version you face. Happens to be weak to poison, weak against the blood sword. I could probably take it. I think I should try it. Okay. I think we can try it. So where's this chest at? It's down there on the way? Okay. So ignore every other door. I just gotta remember that Furion cannot use his Strain Sword on Undead or else it damages him. <laughs> It'll kill him. I think I used it on the Emperor. It was bad to use bears. Sphinx. Defeated. Fabulous. I 
Yeah, the dungeons in this game are really interesting. They just literally set up um, empty rooms with a higher encounter rate. That's the <laughs> that's the gimmick. And there's usually never any treasure in any of the rooms. Monsters! Oh, how cute! We love him! He's adorable! Alright, what do we want to cast? Anything? I think I just want you to attack. Maria, you give Furion Berserk. Can you give everybody Berserk, actually? You can. And we're gonna raise our defense. I don't think you can really do much but attack, so you attack. Oh gosh! 3,142! My goodness! Therion! You're so strong, we love it! Alright, Maria, you just go in attack. Um, what do I want you to do? How about some blinkage? And another attack. Get in there, Maria! We got it, we got it. Uh, Emmy says that's probably the max that they could do back then. Yeah. This was, I believe, 1988. <laughs> this game is as old as me. Oh my gosh, karaoke girl, come on in. Give a little hug to our karaoke girl. Oh no, that's the wrong command. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Hug. Karaoke girl! There we go. Big old glam for you, karaoke girl. How are you, Kaya? I got the rune axe. Ooh, Kai, you like that uh, pharaoh seed, huh? Poison axe, rune axe. Uh, cast fog when used in battle. It's effective against spellcasters. We'll give that to you. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. Uh, Shane was in my stream last week and was using commands to buy more Pokeballs. So I was like, look, Evie, you can get some more. <laughs> uh, Kaya says, doing pretty good. Looking forward to some time off next week. Ooh. Time off! Yes! What are, you, uh, what are you planning to do with your time off? What kind of self-care? Let us know. I was really good. I uh, got my boss to give me the day off yesterday. I actually took a Monday off. It was fantastic. Uh, I'm just going to attack, attack, attack. A true Pokemon master. Yes, Shane is a true Pokemon master. It is known. Oh, Emmy, you got the Pokemon. You stole it. Look at Maria, she's just a little baby. Oh, she's fine. Never mind. She's good. Kai, you're glad my boss is so nice? Thanks. <laughs> He's kind of cool guy. I think you want, um, instead of the slashes, I think it's just uh, Pokeshop space, Pokeball space, pen. I think. Don't quote me on that. I am clearly not a Pokemon master. Look at this little dude. What's he doing in there? What can I do for you? So he has the death tome, the berserk tome, the haste tome, 
and the flare tub. I think I've already got some of those. That's pretty neat. Take another haste. Why not? Another berserk. Why not? Oh no, you don't have enough Poké Dollars. I would give you Poké Dollars, but I don't know how. <laughs> uh, yes, magic, magic, magic. Berserk. spells already? Yep, they sure are. Okay, okay. And he already has haste. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, Kaya, me either, reading up on it. Uh, Kite, so speaking of, next week it was originally going to go to the Trash Taste Live Show, but it didn't work out. What is the Trash Taste Live Show, Kite? I've never heard of that. The more you watch streams, I believe you earn Poké Dollars. Yes, I think so. You were thinking about it, but not anymore. What happened? Were you just sad? What happened? If you like it and it brings you joy, you should go. No, Kai, I have not seen Trash Taste. It's pretty good. All right. Uh, it's a podcast by three anti-tubers, Giguk, the Anime Man, and CD Galkaba. Oh, word. That's awesome. Yes, a super not-so-secret project um, that I have in the works is I would like to do a D&D stream slash podcast of family-friendly magical school roleplay. So, yeah, anime anituber, anime to YouTubers. So like a VTuber, but for anime. Got it. Maybe, maybe not. Do they just love anime? Um, I really, really could benefit from getting back into anime. Emmy keeps uh, telling me that she'll she'll share her 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 stream of uh, the anime. They don't use VTuber models, they just talk about anime. Oh, okay. So they're professional weebs. <laughs> Essentially is what you're saying. Got it. That's cool. Oh look, more doors, two chests. What's here? So this is floor four. So there's a lot of important treasure to discover in the floor. Two can be found in chests out in the open, but three are behind a door. First chest contains the Betrayal Fang. When you reach the door at the top, enter inside to find Dragon Armor and Aegis Shield, two very strong defensive pieces of equipment, and the Holy Lance, a weapon you should give to Leon. Back outside, head to the right, you'll see a second chest, you'll find Yoichi's Bow, one of the best bows in the game, along with a force fight against the Red Dragon. As usual, it's weak against the Blood Sword. Okay, so tons of items, and when you're finished, proceed through the door in the lower right corner to access the next floor. Okay. More cheating. <laughs> what are you sharing? Your anime. Um, I think you have a Crunchyroll account or something like that. Um, you have so much anime. You know, speaking of uh, Sound Go Round, guess what I got from Sound Go Round last time I was there? <laughs> we got the Yu Yu Hakusho. I do believe I got seasons one through four. On the DVD for Yoko Show. So fun. So fun. Very nice. Very nice. Oh! 
<laughs> Stop paying for Funimation, they merge with Crunchy. Oh no! No need for double subs. Nobody wants double subs. You love Yu Yu Show. Yeah, last time I stayed at your house, that's what I was watching on your TV when I passed out. <laughs> it's a good show. Wow, where's the uh, dreaded bad brass? Those eyeball monsters were much more fearful than these Marlboros. I shouldn't say that. They're gonna torture me the next time I fight them. Oh, they do that. That's a lot of hits. I should come over and we could do a marathon? Yeah! Betrayal Fang. So is it a knife? Oh, that's nothing I care about. An item that can be used in a battle. Kai, you're on your way? Alright. Yeah, we also could do... Um, some anime nights in my discord should y'all be interested obviously we couldn't stream it on here but Rio's good at the cooking sweet Uh, they said there is three chests in this room. Uh, I think he'll withhold the food from you. <laughs> oh no, Kai! <laughs> I would not withhold food from you, Kai. I am not mean. That's terrible. Alright, we got dragon armor, an Aegis shield, and a holy lance. So you're saying I should put it on him? Cast Holy when used in battle. That's dope. And we could give you Dragon Armor. Oh no, but it drops your evasion down. Um, how about you? Oh, it drops yours down significantly. Well, guards against ailments like stone. Or dragon armor. We'll give you dragon armor. I think that'll be fine. Oh, not me, just Rio. <laughs> uh, you were gonna host a Jujitsu Kaizen movie. I do not know what that is. I am a terrible weeb. I don't think I'm gonna give anybody a shield. I want the damage. Preemptive strike, we love that. We love our preemptive strikes. Holy cow! Then you axe just hit really hard. That was great. Uh, speaking of which, tell Rio to play Val with me. Uh, Valorant? I have not played Valorant. Uh, it's newer, only has one season, is really good. Oh, okay. Ooh, Vampire Lady! Look at her pink cape! Ooh, that was bad. I healed her. Because she's undead. Okay, she's gone. Ooh! <laughs> Ferion. Oh, the red dragon. We got this. People need to go watch Chromery. Oh, I don't know what that is either. I was um, chatting with Yuichi Bo. I don't know if I'm gonna use a bow. When I was chatting with uh, Ninova the other day, she was quoting The Room. <laughs> oh, hi, Mock. I was like, oh no. That is also a movie that is very challenging to consume in any other state besides the one you described to me. Mean. 
Oh no, look at little baby Leon. He's asleep, paralyzed, silenced, and poisoned. So he doesn't necessarily have bad breath, he just has all of the status ailments if he hits. <laughs> I see. All right, all right. All right, B5 looks fairly straightforward. What's in these boxes? There's a sign posted by the entrance form you that the path your own leads to hell. Throughout this floor, you'll be attacked on school by chimera sphinxes along with the original green dragon. Floors linear, winds around a pit, three chests. First and last contain high bars in the middle chest near the top and where the door needs a protect ring. Which increases the player's defense against instant death magic. Give this to individuals responsible for reviving fallen members, then make your way around to the door to the lower right corner. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. So, Mega Parasites and Ice Lizards. Ooh, Ice Storm 16. Okay, I'll take Drain. Can I steal my MP, please? It's much more precious. Leon Spears leveled up. Wonderful. Leon, you can cure yourself. Because your magic is kind of useless. <laughs> Ooh, a Rhydon! Rhydon's a cute Pokemon. Try it. Ouch. I'm not seeing green dragons. There's Premier Sphinxes. So we don't run any more of those eyeball things. They were awful. Ooh, that looks like a flea to me. Bye! <laughs> Alright, the protect ring goes on the hand? Where does the protect ring go? Oh, it is a farm item. So we want to give that to Guy. Okay. His Guy is our Rezzer and our healer. He is our Himbo Play Mage. Healing with the flexes of his muscles. Ooh, an elixir! That was not a high potion, that was an actual elixir. That's cool. Cyclone 13. Ooh. I'm glad they didn't put blue um, material or um, enemy skill blue mage stuff in this game. I'm already filled with spells. I don't want to have to hunt down those two. <laughs> All right, guys, got lots of MP. There's a green dragon. And 
he's cool. Oh, Emmy, grats on your ride on. Oh, guess this is it. Scissor Jaws. It's an interesting enemy name. Very descriptive. So many chimeras. Beat you up, beat you up. Oh, you're welcome. Grats. Big hype for Emmy. Have I ever heard of 607 Predator Hunters? Yes, I certainly have. <laughs> you saw them busting someone while you were at the gas station yesterday? Oh dear. <laughs> uh, yep, I know all about that uh, vigilante group. I'm not like totally opposed to what they're doing but I'm also a little opposed to what they're doing because nothing happens to the folks that they're basically canceling. Ooh, cutscene. This is the castle of hell. Pandemonium. It's so pretty. Who thought hell could be so gorgeous? Damn. It's lovely. This sounds epic. Heck yeah! How many floors are there? There's ten floors to this dungeon. Ten. I hope I survive. So this is the final dungeon. Most powerful creatures in the game. Among the strongest you should watch out for are the Death Riders. They sometimes appear with other monsters. Always be your first targets. They can do over a thousand hit points with a single hit. Okay. Make sure you're around the outside you reach the top. Because concern. Okay. So there's nothing on this floor. The big redneck was expecting to meet a 13 year old. Oh dear. Uh, good night, Kite. Thanks for stopping in. Oh wow. Apparently, it does not. <laughs> you're gone already before I could wish you good night. That's okay. Have a good sleep regardless. So these are the bad guys, he said. Okay. They got little ponies. Look how beautiful the castle of hell is. It's gorgeous. The Lamia Queen. Darion fell for one earlier in the game. Ooh, gold hairpin. Um... Yeah, put that to you. Oh wow. They do hit hard, do they? Listen to that music though. It's kinda epic, huh?
That blood sword, man. Cuts through those baddies every time. Yeah, if you don't kill those in the first round of combat, they mess you up bad. Mantis Devil. Okay. What do they do when they hit though? Paralyze? Paralyze is no bueno! Guards against elemental attacks and status effects. Word. Um, we're giving that to you, our lovely Himbo Mage. And we're going to change that to these gloves. Give you back some hits. And then we're going to give you the protect ring. Sounds like a fair trade. Hopefully I get more of those ribbons. That's a clutch item. All right, we made it to the second floor. There's <laughs> only one chest has an ether. After walking down on the top, find the chest. Follow the path. On the warp tile, on the crosses, we talk by these demons with her golems. Okay. So basically, just go to the door. There's nothing really worth fighting for. Oh, hey, Proxy. How's it going? Giving a hug to Proxy. It's going good. We are in this beautiful um, palace of hell. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna run from this one. Because they're in the back row, and I might not get to them. It's very pastel for hell. You are correct. But it's pandemonium. It's actually the uh, name of the recent... Um, Raids. What do you call those? My brain is not working. Um, in Endwalker, the eight man raids. Not Alexander. What are those called? Not Alliance. The other thing. <laughs> I can't think of the word. Ooh, this is going hit hard. Not nice.
Beautiful, beautiful. Wonder why Pandemonium in 14 isn't as beautiful as this uh, lovely dungeon is. I would love to see some pastel pinks in that um, instance. It would be very fitting. Alright, teleport, teleport! It is floor number three. Ooh, look at all the little paths. It's like there's a little door down there. Some kind of a chest. What's in the chest? I do wonder. It's an elixir. Yeah, it's worth grabbing. Okay. Oops. Elixir's worth grabbing. Oh my gosh. Ambushed? Are they gonna kill me? Charm. Charm. That's too many. Too many Lemias. Run. Run. <laughs> Left Leon behind. Sorry, Leon. <laughs> Is he okay? No status ailments. Okay. Alright. Supposedly there is a path in the wall. These guys are annoying. They also have an instant death mechanic when they hit you. They lie. There is no pathway. Must be up there. I think one of the most deadly combinations of mobs I found in this game is when you had like four or five of the curls and then Lamia Queens because of the status effects and then they have that instant death attack. They wiped me out two or three times just to get some kind of a chest loot. It was annoying. Why are you beating up Maria? What did she do to you? What are you stand on Maria? Okay, so far an MP. So there should be a shortcut here. There was! Huzzah! Nope. 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 No, 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 no. We running. Bye. We escaped. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Fourth floor. Look at all those doors. What's in them doors? All right, when you start here, you're on the lower left corner. Above, you will be four doors. These doors lead to doors on other floors. They lead to a considerable amount of great treasure in the form of powerful equipment. But the only one, only one door leads you on your way to the next floor, and that's the third door from the left. Save that door for last. Visit the first town. Okay, so we're gonna get some cool equipment. Okay. Alright. I'm down to try for some cool equipment. So which one do they say avoid? Uh, 
third door from the left. So one, two, three. So we're going to avoid that one. Okay. Ambushed. I should be able to take that. Oh, she fled. All right. We respect it. If you gotta run, girl, you get it. We're the big spoopy warriors of light, what can I say? Oh dear. Look at all this topsy-turvy mess. So this is... Follow the path to the left side. There's several false walls. Even if you can put it down, test the walls to check. Okay, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna run with it. Those look familiar. Beast Demon. Recolored model from another boss we fought. Okay. If we could just get, like, packs of two. <laughs> like that, that would be fabulous. Alright, a pack of four. Let's see how we do with four. Not bad. Sweet. That wasn't so scary. Ooh, five curls and we're ambushed. Is that gonna be deadly? Uh, two of us are paralyzed, one of us is dead. But, uh, that might be a game over right there, folks. And then they fled. Can he do it? Can Ferion stand the test of the curls? Holy cow, he lived. What a man. Uh, who's got the highest magic guy does? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Alright, there is no walls that I could go through. Why can't we have these guys? These guys aren't so scary. Monsters. Did not expect that. Uh, zombie Borgen. Oh, I remember Borgen. He was a jerk. Um, give us a Berserk. You give us Protect. Can I cheese this with a Phoenix down? No. Dang. <laughs> Because Ferion cannot attack this guy with his blood sword. Because he undead. Uh, you can attack. Ooh, let's try Foley on him. See what happens. Eighty-nine. Not good enough. What does ultimate magic do? Anything? Okay, we got it. We got it. Mini boss down. Mini boss down. Hope it was worth it. 
Genji gloves. What's Genji gloves doing? Uh, gloves boast in the finest defense that guard against mental status ailments like sleep. Okay. So it'll drop your evasion and your attack. No, we want you to keep that. What about you? You've got the ribbon on, so we're good there. You've got your protect ring. So we'll, I think, give it to Leon. Hopefully that helps Leon. Um... Oh dear. Four shouldn't be so bad, and I'm not being ambushed. Yes. Preemptive strike. If I can get that in every battle. That would be helpful. Get a nice surprise round of whack-a-moles. Devil's Wolf. These are new. What do they do? Please don't paralyze. Please don't paralyze. Or one hit kill. They're weak to axes for sure. Okay, no big deal. Hmm. How do you get down there? Where is my map? Push through this wall to find hidden treasure. Okay. Oh, I see it glowing, actually. We got the Masamune. Yes. Wow, look at that. Katana of unequaled power cast haste when in battle and it brought his attack up to 254. Clutch. Love it. What's the other item then? Uh, da, 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 da. Once you obtain your military traffic to betray your sex your chin forth. I don't think I can hit anything else. Okay. So I don't think I'm getting that chest. Oh, you must come in from one of the other doors. Got it. I got it. Let's work back. Yep, I was right. Cool. Alright, so who do we got for MP? Over here. I'm gonna start needing to use these ethers.
Okay, so this floor, this is floor 5B. Ooh, Tiamat. It's guarding this treasure. Just like the DD boss. Okay. I can probably take this. A surprise round, so I should be okay. Your sister's gonna become a streamer. Oh, big hype for Shannon. Good for her. <laughs> it's because you started, Emmy. That's what you get. That's what you get for being so cute, starting your own streams. <laughs> I also need to expand my audience. It is non. Oh, I'm cuter and started first. That's so nice. Devil Wolf. They're kind of cute, the little wolves. Oops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to make a bunch of noise. You know, I just realized my closed captioning wasn't going. I think I fixed that. Maybe? Scroll back down. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, y'all. You have captions on me? Cool. Alright, we're gonna fight Tiamat, one of the dreaded monsters in Dungeons & Dragons. There she is! I'm just gonna view attack straight up. You're gonna cast Berserk, you're gonna protect us, and you're going to cast Holy. Why not? Holy 8. It's not bad. Doesn't do anything, but not bad. Oh, yeah, that drain is perfect. We got this. We should be okay. Big dammies. That sword should almost be illegal. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, Maria's Berserk finally leveled up. We got a Genji Helm. So what's the Genji Helm do? Uh, protects against physical status ailments like stone. All right. No more getting stoned. We want to give that probably... Probably... We'll probably give it to Guy. Then we'll give you the ribbon. Maybe? I wonder what the twist had been. Good job, it's so good. Yes! Oh, I'm not walking back. Leon, take us back. <laughs> All right, so then they said skip this door, go up this one. 
Yas Queen Slay. You know, it's funny, one of my favorite streamers also says that. <laughs> We are now on 6th floor. Ooh. What's up on this floor? Let's peek. In the right corner, 6th floor. At the bottom of a very narrow path to the top of the floor, you will find the Genji armor protected by creature known as Beelzebub. Next spells are shown by... He has no weaknesses. Boost your physical fighters. Use flare until he's defeated. Okay. So straight up, just run up to the chest. Okay. Uh, Emmy, I'm so glad I no longer work for a boomer boss. <laughs> Most of your bosses have been boomers. Oh no. My boss is not a boomer. My boss is millennial. I don't know if I've had a lot of boomer bosses, to be honest. I'm pretty sure most of my bosses have been Gen X. Alright, another epic battle. Here we go. Oh my gosh! Look how adorable it is! It's supposed to be mean and scary, but it's so cute! <laughs> I love it! I wanna be friends! Alright, magic. Oh, Bubba Boy! Bubba Boy! Bubba 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 Bubba! You just came in on the most adorable boss that's supposed to be mean and scary. It's called Beelzebub, and I love him. I love him. Let's give a shout out to the Bulb Boy. Oh, thank you, Renata, for the follow. Appreciate you. Yes! Big hype! Big hype! You finally beat Zelda! Yes! You're playing Twilight Princess, right? Uh, welcome in, Renata. Uh, for those who don't know, I am a Vector of Change, also known as Augustine, and my name is Anthony. I have lots of names and identities, which is awesome. I uh, use he, he, they pronouns. Uh, we are here to do some playthrough of every Final Fantasy game at the moment. It's a series for our Tuesdays, and we're on the second game in the final dungeon, over halfway through. So we're doing pretty good uh, in terms of progs. I'm hoping to finish as well tonight. Um, yeah, so next week is Phantom Hourglass. I've never played that one, Bulba. Um, I'm so glad that you were able to finish your game. You've been playing, I think, um, Twilight Princess for a while now. So it's sad because it's one of my favorite titles, to be honest. Um, how is your stream otherwise? Oh, thank you. We appreciate the good luck. <laughs> so far, so good. We haven't had a TPK. No, no total party kills. We've been close. Um, you had fun? Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Raiders, listen up. If you uh, are getting tired and you've been around a while watching the lovely Bulba boy do his thing uh feel free to raid and run i just appreciate the hype of you coming in and renata again thank you for the follow i'm almost at my follower goal of 50 getting so close maybe by the end of the week we will be able to finish that up um and i think just as a side note uh, if you do want to stick around if you want to change the link up top and get the rid of the refer ID and just look at my page, that definitely does help in terms of views uh, for me. Um, but yeah, come on in. Uh, 
grab a little drinky poo, maybe a little snack, a snuggly blanket, and uh, we're going to continue Final Fantasy. Thank you again, Bulba, for the raid. Now we're going to try to kill this adorable bub. Do a bug. All right. Um, Maria. What do we got, Maria? Maria's going to give us Berserk because she's fancy. Our Himbo White Mage is going to protect. And you... I don't think I'm going to give you anything we have but attack. Whoa. It's level 2, so I probably won't do much of anything. Ooh. He's tough. He's a tough boy. I'm hoping this Drain Blood Sword will be effective. Flare 16. Wow, way to flex. Basil up. Way to flex. It's like no dammies. Ooh, the axe is doing good though. Alright. We, we got this. With that drain sword, we should be fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys protect leveled up and Liam Spears. And then we got Genji Armor. So does that also protect from instant death? Sweet. Ooh. Um. Who would I give that to? So that's gonna be a buzz kill for anybody I give that to in terms of just straight up hits. Okay. We'll give it to Leon. Leon can take that. All right. Ooh. Okay. So, I think that was all that was on this particular side. So we are going to use our warp that Leon conveniently has now. And frog forward. Six floor. Six floor is way too long, unnecessarily. Oh no, this could be the end. Uh, oh, and he's asking Holden a question. It's too long because it wants me to suffer. Indeed, I sure am. Because I don't think he has Basuna. He do not. So he's just going to attack. Ferion's the one with the uh, Basuna. Attack. Uh, Balba says that his two year affiliate anniversary is the 28th, so doing something. Oh, look, I died! Uh, doing something on the 27th, doing a sp spec sexy. Sp Spam tune? Spam tune? I don't know what that is. Cosplay. We're gonna watch all the clips. I mean, he's not streaming on Halloween because you're taking the kids trick or treating. Congrats. Sounds awesome. Yeah. Let's try that again. <laughs> Delta Rim. Gotcha. I don't even know if I pronounced that correctly. Sorry. It's amazing that uh, Spooky Month is here already. We're like halfway through it almost. Ooh, Emily, your uh, music is getting just a little bit more on key. You're harmonizing 42% corn. I wonder if I, my cozy levels have gone up a lot. Same. 
We all drained it earlier. Ooh, 45%. Nice. Uh, Renata, I love this because I'm like a different percentage for multiple Final Fantasy games right now. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I um, aim to go through all of them. So if you are interested in checking out um, Final Fantasy 1 or 2, uh, all my VODs are up on the YouTube. You're welcome to go check that out. I will be streaming Final Fantasy 3 on Tuesdays after I finish this game. So. Yeah, I'm planning to do the Pixel Remaster, I think, for the first six games. Not sure yet with six, because six is my favorite game, and I'm kind of scared to play it in a format other than what I've already played. But I've heard that the music has been remastered and the opera scene is just superb, so I might try it. I have not decided, and I've got plenty of time before I have to, so... Oh, playing on the Super Nintendo Mini. I have one of those too. They're so cute. <laughs> I don't know how long I had to search and search and search to find my Super Nintendo Mini. It took forever. Not as long as it's taken me to try to acquire a PlayStation 5. That I don't still have yet. I'm hoping this holiday season to find one. Hey, Renata, if that's what makes you feel good, I think that is fabulous. I'm honestly streaming to hold myself accountable because I have this habit where I get into a game and I've played it and then I get bored or I get lost or I kind of forget what I'm doing. Um, and so then I never complete the game. So I figured if I have an audience, <laughs> There's some pressure to actually work on completing the games. <laughs> Ooh, what is that spell? Warp? Those are new spells. I've not seen enemies use those before. We don't like that. Don't kill me. Uh, am I cursed? I am. Uh, use the cross. Emmy says she started streaming to get herself dressed and branch out socially since she worked remote and in home all the time and spend most of the time in the jammies. That's okay. We stand for jammies. Oh my gosh, my shoes are $1,100. What am I going to do? Can't afford it. Monsters. Kind of monsters. Ooh, Astaroth? Not as pretty as Beazelbun. We stand Beazelbun. Um, yeah, you can't do anything. I'm just a TM. Ooh, $800, Emmy. That's more affordable for sure. Wow, that was rude. Definitely. I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to shoes, I am not uh, a little bit of a cheapskate. <laughs> if they're more than um, like 40 to $50, I, I probably won't buy them. And scour the uh, clearance racks. Another ribbon. Okay, so we're gonna give the ribbon to Furia. Hoping to start streaming soon for all those reasons. Yay! Streaming has been pretty fun so far. Uh, you've been lucky enough to really like the cheap clothes at your local stores. Sweet! Yes. I am all about saving the monies on clothes.
Poor kitties. There's some dangerous kitties in this game. Another protect ring. Um, cards against instant death. Is it worth dropping attacks? Yeah. Uh, who's got MP left? You do. Those kitties are dangerous, I mean. That is accurate. Oh, and by the way, um, if you haven't played Final Fantasy II before, this beautiful pink, blue, pastel dungeon we're in is Pandemonium, otherwise known as the Palace of Hell. Apparently hell is fabulous. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay. I was about to have a heart attack, so I was like, I thought I was on floor seven. How am I all the way down to four again? But it makes sense. Uh, the devil is clearly a has good taste. Uh, Bubba says, if I'm going to hell, I want to be here. Yes! Big hi -ape. More kitties. Oh, these guys are trying to kill me. Well, bye, Leon. Nice knowing ya. It's kind of sad, though, that when one of your party members falls like that, they literally just, like, walk off the screen and leave them behind. Like, bye, Leon! <laughs> You can yes you can, you can run from the fights I mean. Um, the challenge is this dungeon um, was two dungeons in one. And so if you want to like back out and use a cottage or something, you have to walk through both dungeons to get back to where you were. But you can absolutely run from fights. I don't know if you can with the, um, when you open a monster in a box, those you might not be able to run from. I could see that. Okay, we are on the seventh floor of hell. So we need to literally go up and back all the way around. Okay. Alright. Ooh, this chest contains Sage's Wisdom. Is that just a silly item? It is a silly item. Yes, I've played Toomba, and tomorrow is our cozy gaming slot, and we'll be probably finishing Toomba 2. Maybe. We're close to finishing it. Pretty close. Um, oh wait, no. Thursday. Sorry, Thursday. Thursday is Retro Thursday. Tomorrow is Cozy Gaming. We'll be doing Littlewood. But Thursday, yes, we'll be maybe finishing Toomba 2. Not sure. What is up after Toomba 2? Um, I have not 100% decided. I was leaning towards maybe getting into a, a Super Nintendo game. Some ideas I had was maybe doing a stream of Super Mario RPG, one of my favorites. Um, another being uh, Chrono Cross from the PS1. And then I also thought about streaming, um, what game was it? Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. I've never played it. And everybody seems to love it. And there's a lot of lore in Tactics that is involved in Final Fantasy XIV. Um, so I'm interested in playing that sometime. Eventually I'll stream Xenogears, but I'll leave that to you for now, Emmy, because I know you love it so much.
That, that will be an investment in time <laughs> to get through Xenogears. Oh, I also thought of doing um, uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, my favorite Zelda game. So, if I finish the game, Toomba, we'll, we'll figure out what we're doing next week. Yes, we should definitely do some Mario Party streaming. Love Mario Party. I also have Smash Bros. I need to um, purchase the DLC. Oh! This is a boss battle that just came out of nowhere. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. Why? 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 It doesn't give me any information. I didn't tell me I was going to fight a boss. Oh no. Uh, yeah, sorry. Right. It's fun to play. I bet. I bet. I'm so jelly. I'm just going to... I'm going to do my typical rotation and pray that uh, I get through this. Because even the music changed. I'm spooked. I'm so spooked. Uh, and if y'all plan to follow along with my streams this month, there are no spooky overlays, no jump scares, just, you know, cozy, cozy vibes, just so you know. <laughs> I know some people are doing all sorts of spooky things this month. I am not one of them. I am a chicken. Oh, honeybee, honeybee, honeybee. Shout out to Honeybee, another fabulous streamer. Honeybee is a chaotic VTuber bean. We love them. We stan our Honeybee. Okay, I killed the boss. It didn't kill me. Yes! Uh, welcome to hell, Honeybee. We are officially in the palace of hell. It is pink and pastel and lovely. We were all chatting about how we've decided that if we're going to hell, this is the hell we want to go to because it's fabulous. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, definitely follow Honeybee if you're not. If you're not following Honeybee, what are you doing with your life? Gear up, gear up, gear up. Well, I guess that wasn't as spooky as I thought. <laughs> Yee! Pocket magic throws off. Seems amazing to me. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Oh no. 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 No, this is not amazing anymore. This is very... This might be a wipe. Okay. We lived. We lived. We lived. We lived. We lived. We, lived. we escaped. That is a scary, scary group. Where's Maria? I want Maria back. Um, I think I can take these guys. This shouldn't be too hard. Wow, they are hitting so hard. Maria is the cutest. I gotta say, she is my favorite character of this game. I'm sad I've gone my whole life without knowing about Maria. She's amazing. Oh wow, we made it to the 8th floor. Are those important treasure chests? An acid vial? And hellfire. So nothing that I want there. Okay. Okay. So we just want to get to that portal up there. What's the best path, do you think? Maybe down here? And then up? Blue dragon. How come the dragons don't get a spooky uh, background music? They're kind of scary. Although I did murder Tiamat. I guess regular dragons are kind of blase. I can handle four. Four is doable. 
more than four and I get spooked. Okay, okay. We can handle this. This is fine. Practicing some positive self-talk over here. Because it's getting a little hairy. Thunder Gigas and Bomb. Thunder Gigas is, yeah, I've never seen this before. It's a new buzz. He's strong. But I strong guy. Another King Behemoth. Just as a regular boss, her regular fight. Again, a very quirky part of Final Fantasy II is that boss fights just become random encounters later in the game. It's very interesting. Kind of shows you how OP you get over time as you level. Uh, makes you want to play Legend of Mana for the millionth time. Oh, Legend of Mana is so good. Ooh, that would also be a fun game to stream. Um, not Legend of Mana, because I've, I've played it many other times, but um, Secret of Evermore. It's kind of a weird off-brand JRPG. It's really cool. Uh, and it's not even, I don't even think it's actually a Japanese game. I think it's an American game. But it plays like a JRPG. It's really cute. It's a Nintendo game. That would be a good retro title. It's a lot of choices. Word. Oh no. Why is this floor so scary? I don't like it. What's it say about the ninth floor? Pretty much a wide open square, you're right in the center of it. Aside from being able to walk anywhere, the only notable feature of the floor is the accent all the corner. Round rooms are powerful. You also encounter a boss level creatures like the human here, so be on guard. Alright, so we literally just need to survive and get to this exit. Ouch. I have a preemptive strike and I'm gonna waste it. Run, 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 run. Escapade. Ooh. Oh, fancy. All right, what's it say about floor 10? You've reached the top floor. Don't dawdle. It's the attack. Head straight up. Uh, every character at least one ribbon or protection in the ring. Oops. Okay. You've got a ribbon. You don't have a ribbon. Let's give you one. You need a protect ring or a ribbon. So we'll switch you out. To the power armlet can give you the protect ring. Okay, what else are you giving me as hints? Make sure you have the blood sword. All your preparation is for this moment. Okay, so before we fight the boss, I'm going to take a quick break. Definitely encourage y'all to have another self-care moment. If you don't have a beverage, this might be a great time to go grab one. Uh, if you are feeling a little peckish, bring a little snack along with you. And uh, just as a reminder, if you take any vitamin to medication, this is your friendly reminder to you know, do your self-care and take care of yourself. I'll be right back so we can take on the Emperor.
Okay. I'm back. I'm ready to beat hail. I guess. So, before I use my elixirs, let's take a couple steps forward. I knew it. Ambushed by an Ice Gigas? That's also a new enemy. I have not seen an Ice Gigas. Defeated. Ooh, he's so spooky. Look at him. He's glowing. All right, we're gonna use four elixirs, y'all. I played a Final Fantasy game and used elixirs. This is just wild. It's wild. I never do that. Look how much gill I have. It's ridiculous. <laughs> You're most welcome, Renata. All right, are we ready? I'm ready. You have braved the bowels of hell to reach me. But the hand of man, which deals in false justice and forsaken love, can never hope to defeat the Lord Master of Hell. Ooh. All right. We doing it. Magic. Berserk, protect. Clutch, 8,000 damage in one hit? Ooh, Starfall, that's pretty. Does it kill me? Not quite. Uh anything in her spells I want to try? I don't think so. I'm just gonna have you attack straight up. We will have you give us a blink and an attack. This is the final boss, Renata. This is the Emperor. <gasps> is there a phase transition? There's gotta be. That can't be it gotta be a phase transition. It was way too easy. Unbelievable. Defeated by insects like you. Not once, but twice. Who are you? Ra. It's done. Now let's get out of here. Sus. Really? That was the boss? All right. Okay. It's, it's finally over, isn't it? It was a long struggle, but the Emperor gone. We've nothing left to fear. Thank you. With all my heart, I thank you. When the combined strength of Kashwan and Finn, we will rebuild the kingdom anew. Together, princess, we will create a kingdom even fairer than the old. Though once a coward, I now stand here a new man. I have all of you to thank for that. You have my deepest gratitude. I'm sure Scott is smiling down on me from above. Look at ya. Do you realize what you've done? Who am I supposed to steal from with the Empire gone? You put me out of a job. I guess I'll just have to start stealing from you. Better watch your backs. Uh, it's like when you beat Majora Mask and felt underwhelmed. <laughs> oh no. What if he just pops up during the scene? It's possible. We've been bamboozled a few times in this game so far. I could see it. Oh, there's Layla. You sure showed him, Therion. You're a bit of bloke I pegged you for. I pegged you for. Mm-hmm. 
you ever feel like trying your hand at pirating. What? That did not sit well with you, Maria? Haha, <laughs> looks like your next battle's already begun, Firion. Who's this girl? Oh, Joe's, um, Joseph's daughter. You did it. I'm sure my dad's happy for you too, up there above the clouds. I'm gonna be working here, serving the princess. I just wanna do whatever I can to help out. Somebody's codependent. Oh look, a ghost. Joseph? We must now dedicate ourselves to the task of restoring what was lost. Farewell. Words cannot express my gratitude to you all. Oop, and there you go. War finally over. Yes. We can live in peace again, together. Dot dot dot. Right, Leon? There can be no going back. Not for all of us. Uh, second person you've seen be the game today. Hype! Big hype! Yes! You played this game on the Game Boy. There was a bonus prize you get to play. Yeah, this this version does not have that Emmy, unfortunately. Good job, guys. It's over. But why? Don't go. Furion, stop him! Maria, Leon is right. We've been through too much. I can't stop him. Not now. Leon, we will meet again. Oh look, all our dead friends. That's so cute. Aww, all our pals. Well, we should be going too. This is only the beginning. Their long struggle was finally at an end. The Emperor. Pandemonium. The monsters plaguing the world. All had vanished without a trace. Peace had returned once more. The wounds of the war would mend and the memory of those bitter days would fade. But one thing would never be forgotten. That a band of young heroes once saved the world. To the fans across the globe, both past and present, and to the crew who brought the originals to life, we offer a profound and heartfelt thanks. Yo, we beat it! We beat Final Fantasy 2! That's so awesome! First playthrough, and I actually beat the game. What is this sorcery? I don't even know what to do because I never beat a game anymore. I've got to be more cozy now, right? Am I more cozy? Let us see. 44% cozy. Okay. All right, Streamlabs. It's fine. It's fine. Emmy, you're stealing all the cozy. You definitely have that blood sword just draining me of all my cozy. At least I've got biscuits. Whoops, I can't even spell biscuit. Oh, Renata, only 26% cozy. You can do better than that. I know it. 73% enjoying the goodness of the biscuit with the honey sauce. I think that's pretty darn good. Uh, you're in your Jack Skellington jammies. That's what gives you the cozy. Ooh. 
You're eating soup, though. All right, Renata. Yes, soup definitely gives out cozy vibes. It's giving for sure. I am so happy. Thank you all for uh, being here so we could finish another title in our Final Fantasy stream. Um, did not expect to be done so soon. I am for sure winning, son. Thank you. Yes. There, there. Let me sure I got the right hand. There are credits over there. Can you see? Can you see credits? I beat it. I can't say it was 100% complete. But we're not here for perfection. We're here for enjoyment. And we have accomplished that. We did it. We did the thing. <laughs> oh, so I guess uh, I will do a little bit of promo. So if any of y'all are interested in joining our cozy community, I started up a little Discord. We're welcome to come join. Uh, it is a family-friendly safe space. Um, more information about me and hijinks is there as well as any of my follows if you are interested in a free way to support the stream please feel free to interact with my social media um pretty regular on twitter i actually went a little viral on twitter today <laughs> i think i got like 100 almost 200 likes and like eight retweets on something i posted i was like what is this what is this sorcery i don't even know i kept getting notifications i'm like is this bad I was pretty anxious about it. Pretty anxious about it. <laughs> All right. So I think we should take a look and see who is up in terms of doing a little bit of a raid. So we're going to pop over to Twitch real quick and see who's on. I did this for fun. I'm still doing this for fun, Inquisitor. What do you mean? I'm doing pretty good though. 45 out of 50 uh, followers is not too shabby for a couple months worth of streaming and work. And this is, I think, only my second week of having a schedule. Let me see, is Plunge still going? <gasps> Plunge is still going. Plunge is streaming. What is Song of Horror? Interesting. It's a little spoopier than my vibes. Let's see what's going on in Plunge's channel. Yes, I finished it, Shane. Big hype. We finished Final Fantasy 2. So next Tuesday, we will continue our every Final Fantasy game stream. And we will start up Final Fantasy 3. Which I have started, uh, but have not finished. So I'll start brand new. We can name characters together and all of the fun things. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I will be back to my um, cozy gaming. We're going to get back into Littlewood. And then on Thursday, we're going to be heading uh, to maybe finish Tumba 2, which will open up that slot for a new game. We shall see. We shall see. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but for now, I think Plunge, we're going to go visit. We're going to give Plunge a little rain. So I think I'm going to do a little shout out before I go over there. Uh, can I do this? P-L-U-N-G-E-8-7. We're giving Plunge a shout out. Uh, if you are interested in copying my raid message, there it is there. Feel free to copy paste that and we will uh, go visit our friend Plunge, who is a fabulous retro game, game streamer. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Have a fabulous evening and remember to take care of yourselves. Okay. Bye-bye.